All right, uh, Shalom, I'm Mark Young. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rakak, Kadash, double honor to the elders and apostles of great millstone and Ruel, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing his truth and sincerity and diligence. All right, uh, this is Brother Lord Yaks from the Great Millstone, Lake Charles, Louisiana camp, coming back again with another quick lesson. And as always, Lord will it be edifying to the elect. All right, so I just want to touch upon uh, the topic. Avoid, avoid, man, consistently uh, uh, keeping our, our, our trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, because what? Everything uh, that, that that was uh, placed before us, you know, the things that we read within the scriptures, uh, is for the appliance of, of, of us in uh, everyday lives. All right? And, and ultimately to show a, a righteous balance of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, because you'll have people in the world. That would think just because that we're men of the Lord that we're not uh, uh, supposed to be going through anything, you know, and that that that's t uh, totally off, you know, that's totally off. Real quick, I'm gonna just go up because what man we're subject to to uh being the, the Lord said I will make a, a man more uh, precious than than fire and gold. All right, and the only way to uh to to get all of those impurities out of us is to be uh, put through fire. All right, but what man through it all, the Lord is always gonna make that escape route. All right, this is uh Ecclesiastes of the Book of Sirach, chapter two and verse five. It says, "For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men, all right, acceptable men in the furnace of adversity." Okay, and, and ultimately, only uh, only the men that, that what uh, are gonna be proved by Yahweh by Shema Shai are gonna be found worthy enough for, to to what receive uh, salvation, man, get that crown. All right, verse ten. Look at the generations of old, okay? Because, oh uh, man, the men of old went, they caught hell, bro. All right, the, the prophets that they, 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 uh, uh, prophesied, all right, uh, destruction, lamentation, uh, uh, woe and mourning. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, all, all the men of old always uh, caught hell, you know? But what, man, through it all, the Lord uh, uh, showed his power and, and, and lifted them up, all right? It says, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in the, in his fear and was fake, forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? You see? The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Long suffering, meaning what, man? Hey, the, the, the Lord, the Lord uh, 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 is uh, merciful, man. All right? It says, and, and very pitiful, and forgive his sins, and save it in the time. Of affliction, you see, the Lord saved it in, in the time of affliction, or uh, affliction. All right, because you, you, and ultimately, man, the Lord is is really just carrying us through this, man. All right, because you have situations where you think it is no way out. All right, you you would think that is no way out, but what, man, the Lord always shows His power. Okay, this is First Peter four and twelve, beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial. All right. This is not no 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 easy trial, you know you know to uh, to to go through, all right. That's why it says concerning the fiery trial, all right. It's hot, all right. What's the saying? Uh, uh don't uh, uh uh stay in the kitchen if you you can't uh take the heat, you know. And with this truth comes a lot of heat, you know. And, and ultimately we're we're seeing the beginning stages of it, you know, of us uh being uh persecuted, okay. But what man? It all stem. Hey, hey, from from the, the men of old, okay, and ultimately what we're subject to. Uh, man, let me grab that. Uh, fall back in our lots, man. You no, know, subject to falling back in our lots. Uh, this is Daniel's twelve and twelve. It says, "Blessed is he that waited and coming to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days, but go thy way till that till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in the lot at the end of thy days." You see. And this is what we're doing. Hey, man, Yahweh Bashim is basically what? Putting us back in our lot, okay? Because what? Uh, the, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets, okay? So we're subject to catching this hell, all right? We're subject to being hated, all right? <clears throat> but through it all, the Lord is, is, is what, man? Going to have a, a big uh, role reversal, okay? And you must uh, uh, know that, okay? You got to really know that. It says... Beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fire of trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice. You know why? Why? Because what? We, man, hey, we have a king coming. All right? And ultimately, 
before even receiving that kingdom, hey, we're subject to rejoicing because what? We are now alive, all right? We have that spirit. We have that wisdom, knowledge, understanding. And, and, and hey, man, at, at the highest pinnacle, what? Yahweh Shai is on our side. You know, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is on our side, all right? The Lord is on our side, okay? You know what? Real quick, and I'll jump back to this. And get that in uh in Romans, man. Let's chat eight. Uh, all right. This is uh Romans chapter eight and thirty one. It says, Who shall we say then to these things? If the most high be for us, who can be against us? You see? And ultimately everyone is against us because the Lord is on our side, but what? They can do nothing. All right? Because what we we serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, we we serve uh, the, the 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 creator of all uh, other gods. Okay, we serve the creator that 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 hey Amen made that that spoke everything into existence. All right, and the Lord has His spirit on on us. Okay, He that spared not His own Son, but delivered Him up for us all. How shall not with Him also freely give us all things? All right, deliverance, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, the kingdoms, the promises, the glory. All right. Whatever you're dealing with, the Lord is going to uh, uh, make a way to, to get you through it. All right. But what? You must go through it. All right. Go through that fire. This is verse 33. Who shall lay anything <laughs> to the charge of the Most High's elect? Because, oh, uh, this is what, what this story is about, man. You know, hey, Yahushua come, coming back. All right. Redeeming his, his, his chosen men. And, and what? Uh, uh, establishing righteousness throughout the earth. Okay, boy, man, uh, the, the Lord's elect are, are real special, all right, and by us putting on as the elect and, and doing uh, what, what the elect men will, will be doing right now, all right, hey, the Lord is always going to justify us, the Lord is always going to come through for us, all right, it said it, it is the most high that justified, see, <clears throat> and I, I, I mean, I must, I must read 34, all right, it says, who is he that condemned it, it is Hamashiach that died, Yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of the Most High, who also make it intercession for us. You know, so what, Yahweh Shai uh, prays and makes intercession, you know, while we're going uh, uh, through this trial, <laughs> you know. He, he, he's, uh, what, what, man, man, seeking, seeking uh, uh, mercy, you know, doing all that for us. To, to where, what, the, the, we, we can be uh, uh, delivered, man. To where we get that pass, okay? It says, but rejoice as much as you are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. See? If ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, meaning if you catch hell, all right, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and the most high rested upon you. The hey, man, it said it rested. Upon you on their part. He is evil spoken of but on your part. He is glorified and that's right, man So we'll we'll suffer uh, amen suffering righteously. All right the things that the, the hell that we catch We're suffering righteously for it, man. It's nothing that uh, uh no one can can do or, 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 or say all right, that's gonna uh, uh, change how the, the Lord is looking up upon us All right, because what man we look uh, upon what the, the spiritual things all right we know that we're subject to suffering. And also, too, uh, knowing, all right, that we're subject to this, all right, we're supposed to have a, a, a different look on, on everything that we go through, all right? Scripture says, what, the, we, man, we were subject to this, all right? Uh, this is Romans 8 and 17. It says, and children... Then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. And, and this hey, is made known that we're suffering, man. We're suffering for, for Yahweh Shem Yahshai. You know, for, for the, uh, the, the ways that the Lord uh, kept, you know. Because why, man? Hey, it's, it's, it's done in righteousness, all right? It's done in truth, okay? Everything we're doing... Hey, hey, it's because what the Lord has allowed us and uh, what bestowed upon us that that gift of faith, all right, that that uh, gift of grace, and, and uh, hey man, 
the 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 portion of suffering, bro. And it can't be uh, compared with the, the the glory that we're gonna receive. Okay. It says, for our record that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons. And that's right. You know, that's why the scriptures tell you what. In 2 Peter's third chapter, I'll grab it. All right. Uh. Verse 12, 2 Peter 3, 12, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, of, of Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, the ones that are suffering, okay, it says, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness, okay? This is what we're looking for. You know what? I'm going to just read all the way through. It says, uh, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent. And this is what, what it's all about. Okay? Being being diligent. All right? Being found worthy. Okay? It says that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blame. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. You see the long suffering. Okay? <coughs> because what, man? You're not just going to uh, have this, this easy walk. All right, you're not gonna have this this easy walk. This is a, a smooth sailing walk. Look at uh, Yahweh Shah. All right, if the Lord's spirit was it, it was placed upon us, all right, and uh, we know that the, the Lord went through uh, way more than us. Okay, but what the Lord's spirit is on us. So what, man? This this movie is just being played out once again. All right, we're gonna be persecuted. All right, we're gonna catch hell. It says the, the the Lord our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also according to the wisdom given unto him to have written unto you. You see? And all this this is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, everything that was passed down to us is for appliance to get us through those situations. Just like uh and what man, we've been warned, all right? According to uh, hey, uh Sirach, uh Ecclesiasticus uh two and one, man. You come to us uh, uh prepare your souls, you know, if you come to serve you, how about you shy? Alright? And if you come to serve the Lord, you must what serve him in spirit and truth, man. So you it's not uh partially suffering, man. Alright, it's all the way around. Okay. Verse 20, Romans 8 and 20, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have, who have subject, subjected the same in hope, <coughs> who have subjected the same in hope, you know, so while we're down uh -oh, right now, the Lord have, is basically going to make his power to be uh, magnified, okay, because what well, we're going to uh, have faith. All right, in, in every situation, it says the, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. You see, so and and this is what uh, we were striving for daily, man. All right, this is what we're striving for daily for for what those uh, incorruptible crowns. You know, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna grab it. It says what our, our hope is uh, full of immortality. All right. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High. So no matter uh, how hard this walks get, hey amen, we're in the hands of Yahweh by Shemel All right? Lord is going to, uh, 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 you know, bring us through that fire and drug us, uh, uh, drag us through the mud. All right? But ultimately it says what? And there shall no torment touch them. All right, hey man, we cannot be plucked out of the hands of your by Shemal Shah, and you must believe that. All right, hey, ultimately, it, it's it's just true, you know. It says, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery, and they're going from us to be utter destruction. But they're in peace. All right, for though they be punished in the sight of men, all right, though we all be persecuted, though we be hated, you know, all, all the hell that we're catching. Though we go through all these things, it says, yet is there hope full of immortality. All right, we're going to be rulers forever, okay? 
<clears throat> we're gonna be rulers forever. The Lord is is gonna come and, and wipe away uh, all the tears, you know, of the saints, man. The Lord is gonna take away all of that mourning, all of that pain. All right, us having to wake up and, and, and go uh, uh slave for Edom, bro. It is it won't last forever. But what the scripture in First Peter's chapter in the fourth chapter says? What this is a fiery trial. All right. Ultimately, we know that what that it is a trial. All right, it's not gonna be uh over overnight, you know. But eventually, hey man, hey trials don't last forever. All right. So with that, Lord willing, this is edifying to the leg. I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, by Shem Rakhakodash. Double lines to the elders and apostles of great mills on the rule well. And must peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing truth to sincerity and diligence. Till next time, shalom.